No, yeah, no. Not in this day and no. age. 2019, guys, right? wake up. Mm. But what would you want to say to you? Oh, babes. Come here, come here. Oh, hon. Sorry. Oh, thick. No, it's not. It's amazing. <laughs> Even what you things do. like Instagram, which is kind of toxic a little bit, because it's like, oh god, do I need to look perfect all the time? Like I've got a face this, I've got to do this in my picture. You don't have to do that. Embrace it. Don't. Hi, we're not me. This is your first solo interview. Oh my gosh, yeah. How does it feel stepping out on your own? It feels a bit weird. Yeah, I mean, we're so used to always being together. Mm. Um, and there's always someone to kind of like fall back on or rely on. But yeah, it's nice to kind of like step out on my own a bit and. I mean, I just love fashion in general, so to obviously be the face of Umbro is just incredible. Mm. Which is all about trying to eradicate online hate. Because how have you dealt with trolls online? I'm not going to lie. Um, the first three years of being in the group, I would look for it. I would search Leanne for Umbro. Oh, oh, babes. Come here, come here. Oh, hon. Sorry. Oh, thick. No, it's not. <laughs> it's amazing what you're doing. Game pace. We are here. We are here. Right. You're amazing. Thanks. So don't worry. We're all here to support you. Thank you. I would look through Twitter and I would search Leanne from Little Mix, the black girl in Little Mix. I would literally put those in my search engines. Um, and just to see the comments, mm. like, oh, it, it's honestly, it's, I regret doing that so much, but I mean, I'm here now and I just feel so much stronger. And so now I don't feel like that anymore. I don't do that anymore. Like I don't look for it. Um, I want to be someone to, like she kind of, she got through that. Like she mm. was that person. And now, honestly, I'm just so proud of who I am. And like, it's such a good feeling. Because you've gone on that journey of self-discovery, like we were saying. Yeah. And it's difficult because every single person goes through this. Every single person exactly. is confused about their identity yeah. or they don't feel comfortable in their own skin for yeah. whatever reason it is. Mm. And I think it's important to show people that you are just like everyone else. Yeah. And you, you go yeah. on that journey. And you will get there. Like, everyone will get there. It, but it does take time. Like, it, take, it took me so, so long. Mm. And then how much would this campaign have helped you when you were growing up? I feel, think? yeah, I feel like it would have definitely helped. I think, I just feel privileged to be able to be the face of it and if anything, kind of help girls that do look like me. Like, mm. It's not unreachable, it's not impossible, like anything is possible and it definitely would have helped a lot and as I say, there's so much like movement now. I'm just like, honestly, I don't care what anyone has to say about me anymore mm. and it's just such a good place to be in. But obviously I get upset because like I remember that girl, so I mean, I'm still going through things now. Like, we, you're never like 100% certain, are you? You're never like 100% there. I think there's always going to be some things to kind of get me down and get to me, but. Well, we're never always finished projects. No, right? we're not, exactly. We're always on this, we're all on this learning experience together. Exactly. Now. And you're going to go through the down times as well as the up times. Mm. And it's just remembering that everything in life is transient, right? Exactly. And you go through these periods yeah. in your life, and it's also made you a stronger person. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm so much stronger. So much. And like I say, I don't look for those comments anymore. You can't, you cannot do it to yourself. Because we were just saying, what has your journey been like? on that journey of discovering your love for yourself? Because yeah. I imagine it's so difficult to also do that in the public eye as well. Oh my gosh. I think for the first three years of getting thrown into this crazy world, I was still kind of like working out where I kind of fit in. Mm. Like, it was a bit of a, of a weird feeling because I did feel, as I say, I did feel a bit invisible. Um, I didn't really know why. I didn't know why I felt like that. And I, I, I know, it just took me a bit of time to actually process it and and I think that what I spoke about, um, that was just the way I interpreted it and it was the way I felt. When I spoke about it, I got so many messages just mm. saying how brave I was and it really helped a lot of black girls. And like, for me, knowing that I did that, I was just like, oh, I'm just, I was just so happy that I did it. And it, it almost felt like a weight had lifted off my shoulders. It was a good feeling and I think it needed to be said. Mm. But did you ever have any reservations about speaking out about your experiences? I think there was some reservations because I was scared to say the wrong thing. Um, I didn't want to offend anyone. Um, 
and also because it is so sensitive and it was hard for me to put it into words because um, it was like a personal thing as well, mm. situation that I spoke about. Um, but as I say, I'm really happy that I did because it's only really going to help people, isn't it? Mm. And like, as I say, it's opening the conversation and making, hopefully making people feel braver to speak about it themselves. And it's just so important to speak up on these issues mm. because the more people that do, I'm telling you, the more change is going to happen. Um, and I've got the most incredible fan base, like, oh my gosh. And they like pick me up and they're just incredible. Um, yeah, and we do it for them. Like, mm. this is why we, who we are, like Little Mix, like we literally are for our fans and they're the best. Yeah. I think what's so incredible about the band is you have empowered women. Mm. How has that journey of feminism music changed for you since going into the band to now? Mm. Well, I feel like at the beginning, the word feminist, like we didn't use it and we were kind of told not to actually, um, just in case it was too controversial. Like, to be fair, like we were really young. Like, I don't think we really were as much clued up as we are now on things. Now it's kind of like, well, actually, we are feminists. Like I am, and I'm so I'm proud to say that. And Damn I think right. right. And I think as obviously we're a lot wiser now, and things that happened back then like really make sense now. So like at the beginning, um, when we was on the show um, on X Factor, we were told girl bands they don't do well. Like they just don't. And we were nearly not going to get through. But the producers didn't want to put us through because they were just saying like, "What's the point? They're not gonna, they're not gonna do like achieve anything. They're not gonna do well. They're a girl band." But um, Talisa actually like stood up for us, and I mean, we proved them wrong, right? We, we won the bloody show. Oh like, God, slammed you know what I mean? Like we we proved them wrong. At the time, we didn't really think too much into it, but now we're like, "Gosh, that was really bad." Mm. Like, you can't just put all women in a box like that. Like, who's to say we weren't gonna win? Like, who's to say we weren't gonna do well? So yeah, things like that kind of made us think actually like, yeah, nah, like we, we, we need to speak up more. We need mm. to actually like talk about what yeah, happens. How much having this really powerful, amazing sisterhood around you helped you? Oh my gosh, like even sitting here now, like I feel like, where are my girls? Yeah. Like, it's so weird. Um, I love them so much and yeah, so lucky to have that. I think it's so ne like necessary, especially in this industry. You need people around you and like, oh, I couldn't do it on my own. Because I also think as well, it's like what you guys have shown is you're such incredible friends. Yeah. And in the face of people still asking ridiculous mm. sexist questions, like you're in a girl band, so surely you're you, hating yeah. each other. Yeah, oh my gosh. Or, oh my God, are you really actually friends? Or they just ask you about your boyfriends oh, or whatever. Yeah. Has, is the conversation and the questions you're getting asked changing? Um, 100%. Yeah. I feel like this new campaign, we are literally, we are talking so much more and being so much more um, vocal about issues that are going on in the world and it feels, it just feels really good. Like it feels good to be able to actually speak about something that matters. I don't want to talk about my bloody boyfriend, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, and I think the campaigns before, like it was mainly focused on stuff like that and it was just mm. like, oh for sake. But um, it's so refreshing to be able to talk about things that matter, yeah. honestly. And also yeah. you're powerful women in your own right. Yes. Right? Yeah. You don't need to be defined by, oh, you're going out of X, Y or Z. I oh mean, my gosh, right? Cares? Be defined by someone you're with, like it's bullshit. No, yeah, no. Not in this day and age. No. 2019, guys, right? wake up. Mm. So what would you want advice would you want to give to them? The more women that, or the more people, I should say, that do speak out about it and not let anything hold you back, especially the colour of your skin. Like, it's just, it's ridiculous. Like, that shouldn't be anything to hold mm. you back. If anything, like, I'm so proud of my skin. And yeah, I just, I think you literally just have to go for it. I never let anyone tell me anything. Like, growing up and I knew I wanted to be a singer, I would literally say it to every single person that enters my life. I'm going to be a singer. I'm going to be on billboards. I'm going to smash it. And you just have to, you've got to put it into the universe and you've got to be positive and just not let anything hold you back, basically. Mm. And that's such an Honestly. amazing message because mm. at the end of the day, you are slaying it Aww, in this Umbro campaign. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you're you. an incredible role model. Keep doing what you're doing because yeah. it's going to really help people out Aww. there, babe. And you're an incredible, incredible person. Oh, you're going to make me thank cry you so again. Much for <laughs>